<clears throat> yeah. You watching Mogumi is my name is Amatricia. So today we're talking about the top five this song of the last decade. Yes. So sometimes artists get some kind of you know beef or mis misunderstanding between themselves and then they tend to release dick songs against each other. Joe is here and then I will be doing the discussion with him. He's going to give us his top five this song of the last decade and then tell us the reasons why he put them at a, those particular numbers. So now Joe, you're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, let's quickly move into the top five list, your list of this songs. Uh, give us the number five then. Well, before we move into the top um, five the songs in the last mm -hmm. decade, let's move back and then look at some of the the songs that made history. Okay, um, sure. Let's talk about um, Chicago and then his going back, back and forth, this and each other. We'll talk about uh, Brafo, Chami Kwame, uh, among others. So, um, this is something that's been happening for a very long time. It's, it's nothing new. So, we are looking at the new crop of musicians and the kind of these songs that uh, they've released. Mm -hmm. Now, um, I listed about five songs mm -hmm. and then my number four and the number five was a tie. I know who to put at number four and who to put at number five. So I'm going to put the two of them at both number four and five. So um, I'm looking at Medical, Last Barrier, and then Strongman, Don't, don't Try. Mm -hmm. You know, this is the most recent uh, uh, beef between uh, musicians in Ghana. We're talking mm -hmm. about um, Strongman, and we're talking about Medical. Few months ago, few, about a year ago, Medical was saying that for the past few years he has been holding Ghana rap music, and Strongman felt like, well, um, there's something he has been doing for some time now. So sure. um, St uh, Medical shouldn't feel like uh, he, he's that good mm -hmm. or he's at the top, top, top. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. So he released the first this song, and then Medical felt like, well, you're a young guy. You've not even released any hit song like I've released, so you don't even have the right to. This means so he also released his song and then they were just going back and forth until medical stopped. So well between the two of them I don't know who I'm going to put above the, the, other. the other. Yes. So now let's quickly listen to the this song of both artists, sure. Medical and then Strongman. Sure. Don't know, you don't know why you're going up. <laughs> yeah. Hey! What's your name? Tabani Music. Abofra, who opened in a memo form on our Dow. Aqua Dow, which me a me for bay in Jao. It's walk a crowd when you're at a more genuine muha how. And you're to us a wagon is so I any of one of the Subtract your fraud money. From the real money, and so some never back away. Trade be your music money. You know if you buy you bicycle, my man, you sound them funny. Can't acquire the charm and sign that be your testimony. A band of rap, more need to ya. Be bouncing out, be pia. What share that they say? Send me reply. What bet nothing? What bet ya? Unko be no fool. May also them money ya pia. What say what you gonna rap? I see what my dad you abuse ya. So our cars, so our bench, my rap more the bench. Big body, big body. Why you make it to a sequence? The fire no fi quench. No, I want to lash your small boy. Oh, here you more bro. Yeah, go on now. We follow second boy. I step in the scene. I'm making it clean. We dream about race alloy. And show what you doing. You see, can you imagine? Bing, 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 ah boy. No matter how big my bank, my manager this one barely show up. Oh, trendy, I also pop it. My drink it was a my watch. My friend Abbas, me land the pet. The push and I just six plus. Best rapper for life. Until I see a fat boy, they call high cut. Studio, I'm from a wood to be high. Yes, I'm a time. Oh, free talk, belly, Jimmy. One only thing, cross the line. 
If you see fraud money before, show me how it looks like. Why is it confirming? Yeah, I'll cry. We feel it good, right? Re okay, so you just listened to the songs. I know you at home, you are amazed. If you've never heard it, then that was the song. I both of them, them went killing each other in that this song. So now let's quickly move to uh third, right? Third so, this song. Number three. Well, number three is manifest. God MC. In the past 10 years, since Akode came into mainstream music, mm -hmm. that was in 2009, he, he's, he's held Ghana rap music. You know, at a point in time, we were mostly into Azonto or the, uh, I don't know how to put it, those kind of music. Mm -hmm. And then Sakode wouldn't stop rapping. And then he has been going and going and going. And then um, some few years ago, he talked, he was saying that, um, He's the best rapper alive in Ghana. Yeah. Just like how it started with Medical, Medical and, and Strongman. And the Strongman. Mm -hmm. So in one of his songs, I think Bozzy, yes, mm -hmm. he spoke about some few things about what he has done, what he has been doing for Ghana rap music. And man first felt like, dude, who are you to say you are the boss when the, the real god of mm -hmm. Ghana rap is there? Mm -hmm. So he also released God MC with, with some serious lyrical punches, you know. That song affected um, Sakode so much, he released Kanta. Mm -hmm. And at a point in time, at when the instrumental has ended, Sakode was still happy. <laughs> that should tell you the kind of super impact mass, super that that song mass. had on him. Mm -hmm. So that is my number three, God MC by Manifest. Okay, so let's go and check out God MC by Manifest. We'll be right back. And that's the nine. And you wanna be king, get your ass in line. These no be bars, I'm just passing time. Charlie, I did. I just chuck it. Laughing hard till your tears in the bucket. Some of my peers spineless, less, they are muppets. Always nothing like a lizard. Damn it, I got my. Yeah. What's a king to a god MC? Numero uno. That be me. So you just listened to God MC by Manifest and I was I, I even learned that um Sakode mentioned Manifest in the song and he didn't mean to be what this in any way. I think Manifest took it in the wrong way and then brought about this this thing. Well if you listen to the reply that's God MC, Manifest mm -hmm. said that if you want to mention my name, just put respect on it. You understand? You Sa didn't disrespect him in any way. No. Manifest feels he's the god of rap. And okay. you are saying you are the best. You are the best. So if you are the best and you want mm -hmm. to mention my name, put some respect on it. You understand? Okay. And you need to yourself. I manifest. Uh, <laughs> okay, so before we move into our uh, number uh, uh, two and then our uh, number one, I want us to I want to quickly ask this. Okay. Do you think this helps in any way for artists to sell themselves or like sell their brand? Well, in, in a way, you know, there's, there's nothing like bad publicity when mm -hmm. it comes to music. You know, sometimes um, a song might be released or something might happen that that we behind the scene would think that it's bad or negative. But then mm -hmm. as an artist, you need to just capitalize on that and then make it positive to yourself. So yes, these beefs help our music industry. In, in the past few years, um, Stone Boy and then Shatawali, they've been on each other's neck. That is what we think. Mm -hmm. But this is just a lyrical battle. And in a way, I think it has helped Stone Boy a lot. Mm -hmm. But after the reconcert, I don't know, Stone Boy is probably coming down. Stone he's not Boy feeling said, out though, but then he's mm -hmm. kind of yeah. coming down. Stone, Stone Boy even made a point recently on OKF with Abibu Santana that the beef with um, Shatawali helped both um, artists mm -hmm. and so there's no way they are going to stop like one day one way or the other there's going to be another beef and i can't wait for that beef <laughs> well see, for me i think um, mm -hmm. that is enough we've had enough mm -hmm. of shatawali and then stone boy okay. i think maybe they should try some other person maybe jupiter or episode or some somebody okay. who needs that kind of mm -hmm. hype mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that we push such person to where they are now so meaning beef is very important it's not no. very important but at some point in time mm -hmm. it, it's okay it helps the industry okay. you know when when shatawali and then samini were beefing mm -hmm. it was very bad at point in time where the uh, fans from both sides meet and then fight you know and that was bad Too risky. okay but then when we talk about stone boy and then shatawali yes they are beefing when you meet two people agree about shatawali and then stone boy they don't actually fight physically mm -hmm. but then they talk about what each other has achieved you understand so i think in a way it's good 
but when it gets to when it becomes ugly no we shouldn't encourage it at all okay then let's quickly move to our number two this song okay so number two this song my number two is the almighty sakwadi mm -hmm. advice mm -hmm. you know abshatawali has been in the news for the good the bad and the ugly but mostly the bad and the ugly mm -hmm. Today, Shatawale did this. Tomorrow, he showed his, his ass, excuse mm -hmm. my language. Today, he's doing that. Tomorrow, someone is sucking his, you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. And so I could feel like, dude, Charlie, somebody needs to talk to Granny. Mm -hmm. Somebody really needs to talk to Granny. So he decided, oh, well, let me release a song and then uh, advise my brother in a very professional way. Mm -hmm. So it still qualifies as it is. Mm -hmm. So that is my number two, and it's one of the greatest songs that's like greatest, has greatest. I I love that this song. I love it. So let's go and listen to the this song. If you've not heard, that is it. If being poor be like me, then father, I beg you, just bless me with poverty. I don't wanna snitch on my nigga, but fuck all the bragging and chill. Cause honestly, your whole back account will buy you one tear rubber vogue, but you claim me supremacy. Fuck out of here, you be fool, but I'm trying to leave a blueprint. I'm from Tema. What the fuck did you think? Me peck us but I'm touching on a few things. Jai, illumination, I coach a cube links. Paul, I want man, them, the fame, and for phone. I call out with the actual winning tone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, 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 that is our second, right, our yes. second this song, which is Sarkode's advice to Shatawali. Eh, that song, <laughs> it hits Shatawali real hard, eh? <laughs> so now let's quickly move to Almighty number one. When, when we talk about these songs, when, mm -hmm. when an artist releases a new song, you realize that whoever it is directed to, uh -huh. it, it hits the person so well that the person so hard. replies. But mm -hmm. I think, well, Shatawali took it cool. Yeah, he think, couldn't reply that he one. He couldn't even reply. So, you know, that is so I think, I think it was it was, it was, it was okay. Mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. So now let's move to our number one. So our number one, my number one is Yapu no Benambu. Now, Ooh. this song is my number one because most of the times when a this song is released it's mostly between the fans of both artists who are beefing and doesn't really enjoy much airplay or mm -hmm. it doesn't go that commercial you understand what i'm saying but when i was a song that to the sense that they made a video for the song it was all over the place mm -hmm. and and it went it went far mm -hmm. it went it went very viral and I'm still, uh, I'm sorry, um, Yapono is somebody, I wouldn't say he's an underground artist, I wouldn't say he's a mainstream artist, mm -hmm. he's in between there. And this song really projected him up there. So I think uh, this is my number one song on the list we're talking okay. about. Okay, so let's go and check the song out. Yuria! Can't style man, you know. I listen to my people and my people listen to me. We bought. You're a big, big, big. In other Ogana, why in a Lumbo? Bandana. Yeah, you be sell out Kido with a tire for your cantata. Kafia, what's the thing? So you've been watching Mogul Means. My name is Ama Tresha, and that has been our top five this song of the last decade and joe has been doing the discussion with me i know you enjoyed it you know just leave your comments below if you've not and then don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching